When you think about BMO, especially when it comes to pre-qualifying for BMO's uh, credit card, you are talking about a very easy process if you know how to do it. And what we love is that BMO is, very, is really generous when it comes to their credit limits. And we have been following this bank for a while now. And what we love about, we love flexibility. We love the flexibility, the customer service, and the very generous high credit limits that BMO actually uh, will grant you. So here's an overview I really want you to pay attention to. So for, if you want to pre-qualify for BMO Harris credit cards, you need to know what kind of credit cards we're talking about. So I want you to have a clear idea about the credit card that BMO has as of, the, as of the date of this show so that you can actually uh you know target a specific card because the whole thing is if you want to pre-qualify for a card in general you want to know the card in and out so that once you will pre-qualify you can actually uh you know be eligible for it okay so first i want to acquaint you with the bmo harris bank cashback mastercard a fantastic cashback credit card okay because check this out you have 200 dollars cashback bonus when you spend 2000 in the first three months of account opening think about it 200 dollars for 2000 that's like 10 percent sort of uh you know welcome bonus if you will you have five percent cashback on streaming cable tv and satellite services fantastic on top of that you have a constellation of cashback cashback uh i would say perks the thing about this bmo harris bank cashback mastercard is that it allows you to uh, to look at the rotating categories, but on top of that, you're able to build a small nest egg, if you will, a small uh, emergency fund, if you will, through uh, through your BMO Harris bank account because those cashback, the cashback can be deposited into your account or can, can be applied to uh, a, a statement credit. It can be applied as a statement credit. So you also have 3% cashback on the gas and grocery purchases up to $2,500 in combined spend each calendar quarter. You have 1% cashback on all other uh, eligible purchases. And on, on top of that, we love the fact that BMO is kind of helping you out with uh, by giving you a 0% intro APR on balance transfers for 12 months from the date of the first transfer. So the thing is just make sure that you do the transfer between within 90 days, okay? So when you open the, the card, when you become a card holder, you have 90 days to actually uh, do the, the transfer. And after that, you have an APR that goes from 20.74% to 27.74%. So, and this card has no annual fee, so fantastic. By the way, boss, welcome back to the show. I really appreciate having you here. And, you know, make yourself comfortable. We're going to go through uh, the best way to pre-qualify for BMO credit cards. So the first credit card is the BMO Harris Bank Cashback Mastercard. Now we have the second one. That's the BMO Harris Bank Platinum Mastercard. Now what we love about this card is that when you think about this card, I want you to think about one thing. I want you to think about a card that allows you to make large purchases interest free. Okay, so boss, if you now, if you have, let's say, you have a family or you have uh if you 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 have an important purchase to make and you're looking for ways to uh, not pay interest like interest on this on this loan if you will you on that not on loan on this yeah sort of purchase if you will then you want to think about this card because he, here you have a zero percent introductory apr on purchases for 15 months okay that's one year and three months from the date of account opening after that, you have a variable APR that's kind of low though. You have this APR will oscillate from 17.74% uh, to 25.74% based on your credit worthiness. On top of that, you have a 0% intro APR on balance transfers for 15 months from date of first uh, first transfer. When uh, again, the transfer is or the transfer are completed within 90 days from date of account opening. So after that, don't forget you have uh, uh, the, the APR for the balance transfer will go from uh, 17.74 to 25.74 so overall this is a great proposition because you're actually you're actually making a lot of cash anyway by the way boss i want to quickly remind you of today's topic i'm actually talking to you about how to pre-qualify for bmo harris bank credit cards and but before you pre-qualify it's important that you know what kind of uh, BMO, what kind of card bmo harris offers okay that way you know exactly how to actually position yourself you know how to play the system not to play the system but how to optimize your usage of the BMO Harris credit cards. And what I want to say in general for this card, the BMO Harris Bank Platinum MasterCard is that when they actually, when they pre-qualify you, if they send you a, let's say a pre-screen offer, or they send you an email, or they, they actually notify you through the app, or send you like some, any kind of a snail mail, for example, where they, they, where they say, listen, you pre-qualify. What you want to do here is that if they ask you 
what you're going to use the cash for what you're going to use not the cash what you're going to use the, the money for just say that you are going to use it for things like groceries right it can be a large purchase it can be but it, you have to put a large amount because this card when they approve you you really really are lucky because they will give you a large amount The third card I want to uh, acquaint you with, that's it's called the BMO Harris Bank Platinum Rewards MasterCard. Now, this is here is a card that actually gives you a, a lot of, uh, I say, cashback, but cashback in terms of points. Okay, so the rewards here are pretty, uh, pretty interesting. Check this out. So you have zero percent introductory APR on balance transfers for 12 months from the date of first transfer when transfers are completed within 90 days from the date of account opening. So this is kind of cool because you're able to actually uh, do the balance transfer real quick and take advantage of the this offer. And but so once that period is over, you have uh, a an APR that goes from 20.74 to 27.74 percent. Okay, and so, but you do have a, a great bonus though. You have 25,000 introductory bonus points after spending $2,000 within three months of account opening, three months. So you have two points per dollar on eligible gas and grocery up to $2,500 per calendar quarter, one point per dollar spent on all other eligible purchases and 10% net of a net annual spent anniversary bonus, okay? And the card has no annual fee. So this is a card that actually, when you think about it overall, is a great card. What we love about this card is that, again, going back to what I said, you can actually match your uh, your lifestyle, your your spending patterns with uh, the sort of uh, rotating categories the card is uh, giving you. For example, you have uh, two points per dollar on eligible gas and grocery up to 2,500. So you have to really model your, uh, your, your spending in such a way that you spend more on uh, on gas on groceries with this card so if you have uh, other other credit cards in your wallet you want to sp you want to use those cards for other things but when it comes to gas and uh, and groceries specifically go with the bmo harris bank platinum reward master card because that way you can rack up uh, your uh, your rewards real fast and remember this is in twenty five hundred dollars per calendar quarter so maybe i mean for some people some people spend that amount of money per calendar month but BMO is actually giving you per calendar quarter. So there is a limit. Just be aware of the limit here. So the maximum you can actually, you can, you can earn is $2,500 per calendar quarter. Okay. So if you go above that, it will still be, uh, it will still be $2,500 anyway. Okay. So it's important to know the limit there, but we love the, we love the 10% of net annual spend anniversary bonus. So you get a bonus every year. That's 10% of your net annual spend. So this is kind of cool. The fourth and last card I want to acquaint you with is called the BMO Harris Bank Premium Rewards MasterCard. So this card is uh, it's kind of cool, but this card, the your FICO score, like BMO asks for, let's say, a FICO score of 600 to 650 minimum before actually considering you with this uh, for this card. This is actually the high, the highest tier card for it. Like if you think about BMO Harris, okay, and this card allows you to have, for example, you have a 0% intro APR on balance transfers for 12 months from date of first transfer when the transfer is completed within 90 days from data account opening what we love about this card is that you basically can use the card for a constellation of things and you actually earn more points okay but again this is the highest tier credit card within the bmo's catalog would be, be not being like if when you look at their credit card catalog this is the highest tier credit card okay and so the apr after the intro period is over it goes from 19.74 to 27.74 percent okay and you have a bonus they have a, a, a wonderful bonus for you if you qualify for this card which you should try to pre-qualify for in the first place and then qualify for it but the bonus is like thirty-five thousand introductory bonus points after spending five thousand dollars within three months of account opening so you can see here the bonus rewards go, goes a little uh, goes a little up here okay by the way boss let me quickly remind you of today's topic we're having a conversation about um, how to pre-qualify for bmo harris bank credit cards and what we love about the BMO Harris Bank Premium Rewards MasterCard is that you have 3x points on eligible airfare, hotel and dining purchases up to $2,500 per calendar quarter, 1 points per dollar spent on all other eligible purchases. So you have 15% of net annual spend anniversary bonus. Okay, You have a no foreign transaction fee, so this is really good. You can use the card 
overseas, not a problem. Okay. Now the card actually does have, I mean, you, with all this constellation of benefits, BMO is going to charge you anything. I mean, you saw that coming anyway, right? Didn't you? So basically th there are like, there is a $79 annual fee. Now they actually will waive the, that fee the first year, just to kind of like, you know, bring you in, in the, uh, BMO, so to speak, BMO ecosystem, but it is really worth it. So they, they waive the fee the first year, but this in subsequent year, the subsequent years, they will charge you $79. But when you compare the cost, that $79 with uh, the constellation of benefits you have, it's really a good deal. Now, let me give you the steps that you need to follow right now. So I just shared with you the, the four BMO credit cards that you need to think about. So the whole thing is, as I said, if you want to pre-qualify for a BMO credit card, no first and foremost. You want to know first and foremost which credit card you want like you got to have a clear idea about the card you want or do you want the, the hair do you want the cashback mastercard do you want the platinum mastercard do you want the platinum rewards mastercard or do you need the premium rewards mastercard so because you want to direct all your thoughts and efforts and the research around those cards and you need also to let bimo know that you would love to be to uh to be considered for one of those cards okay so if you want to pre-qualify for let's say a bimo credit card real fast remember when we talk about pre-qualification we're not talking about the same thing as qualification okay when you apply for a credit card bmo or any other card issuer will run a credit check to see if you are eligible that's that's really well established everybody understand that now this hard inquiry can temporarily lower your credit score by a few points sometimes it can, it can be five to ten points if you don't want to risk a hard inquiry for a card you might not qualify for you can try to get pre-qualified instead so Pre-qualifying for a BMO credit card involves a soft credit check, which will not affect your credit score. The process involves BMO reviewing some basic information about you and your credit file to see if you are a good fit. Now, note that you know some card issuers, now not, not BMO, but some card issuers may use the term pre-approval instead. So, you know, because it's not really an official approval, being pre-qualified for a BMO credit card does not guarantee that you'll get it. So BMO will make that decision based on your official application, which is likely to result in hard inquiry. So it's just that you are just like, uh, let's say you are pushing, like you are postponing the hard inquiry. When you pre-qualify for a BMO credit card, you are postponing the, the hard inquiry. The, you, like instead of getting the, the hard inquiry right away, you want to see what you could, you could, what you could, what you could qualify for in the first place and then if you like the numbers they give you if you like the offers they send you then you can actually just uh, go ahead and, and uh, apply for real like like you really uh, submit your 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 actual application and go and let's say undergo the whole process of hard pool of credit of credit score check and uh, all the other uh, all the other consequences if you will before they give you before they approve you or before they deny you So how do you actually pre-qualify for a BMO Harris credit card? Well, you have a lot of you have a lot of options. Okay, there are a few different ways to determine your chances of, let's say, getting approved for a BMO credit card or any other credit card for that matter. Okay, you can use BMO's pre-qualification tool. Now, BMO does have a pre-qualification tool in some states because the BMO is not like a, they're not a national bank, but uh, they are a regional bank, but they do not have the same strategy for each state. So if you if you qualify in your state, if you're lucky, if you are in the state where BMO actually have, uh, they're running this program. So you are basically, you, you can see a pre-qualification tool on its website. So simply share some basic details about yourself to get an idea of your approval odds. So instead of offering pre-qualification for just one card, many card issuers, not just BMO, but many card issuers have a general tool that will let you know which cards you may be eligible for. Okay. So major card issuers that offer pre-qualifications include American Express, Bank of America, Capital One, Chase, Discover, and West Fargo. And when we think about pre-qualifying for a BMO Harris credit card, I want you to keep an eye out for mailed offers. Okay. Pre-screened offers. From time to time, BMO will actually send you a, you know, a letter or a pre-screened offer take care of that you want to seize the opportunity right right away so they, they will send you a pre-approved offer via postal mail or email and these offers are typically for specific cars and invite you to apply usually by using the tech the unique code included in the letter or email so 
when BMO reaches out to you, they'll let you know whether you pre-qualify, like, like based on their pre-screen offer, they will let you know whether you pre-qualify for the, the cashback MasterCard, the Platinum MasterCard, the Platinum Rewards MasterCard, or the Premium Rewards MasterCard. This is why I was just telling you earlier that, you know, it's better that you have a clear idea about the card you want so that when they reach out to you with a, with an offer you can tell whether or not it's a it's an offer worth worth your time and whether you whether you should pursue it see the thing is if you have if you did not do the, the research beforehand you wouldn't know whether or not this card actually uh you know is suitable to your like is suitable for your personal lifestyle or your monetary lifestyle right now you can also you can also use a card aggregator service so there are online services you can use to see whether you have a good chance of getting approved for cards from multiple credit card companies. Okay. So you can, you have nerd wallet, you have wallet hub, you have a credit karma, you have Experian credit match. Okay. You have a lot of, uh, there are a lot of players out there that offer this service. So let's really talk about the credit score you may need to pre-qualify for a BMO bank credit card. Okay. Now there are no minimum credit score requirement for like, if you, if you want to pre-qualify for a BMO credit card, there are no minimum credit score requirements. You know why? Because, because the approval odds depend on the, spe on the specific card you want to apply for your credit history and other factors. Okay. So even if you have bad credit, there may be some BMO credit cards out there within your reach. For example, the Cashback MasterCard or the Platinum MasterCard. I mean, the thing is, it all it all boils down to your relationship with BMO, how long you've been with them. So the length and depth of relationship that you have with them. Okay, so just remember that if you have bad credit, however, you you should expect to choose from a very limited selection. So BMO is not going to send you all the four card, like it's not going to consider you for all the four credit cards they have, probably consider you for one or two maximum. So if you have no credit history or a thin credit file, you may only qualify for a secure credit card, but there are credit card issuers that can consider alternative credit data when processing your application. Now, if you want to really, let's say you're thinking about all this and you're saying, listen, I want a BMO credit card. I want to pre-qualify for a BMO credit card. Give me, give me like the gist, give me the strategy, give me the things that I have to do right now, not tomorrow, not, not yesterday, right now to improve my, my, my approval odds. Well, I got good news for you. Okay. You can try to really check your credit report routinely. So you are able to spot any error, any mistake, any derogatory item that can actually uh, doom your chances, if you will, of getting a high limits. Okay. Check that. And, and I want you to file, let's see, I want I want you to file dispute letters. I want you to fight dispute automatically and reflexively okay pay all your bills on time you know that you know bill payments accounts for 35 percent of uh, your credit score so you know you want to really really pay attention to that reduce or pay off credit card balances so that your credit utilization ratio will go down and also try to become an authorized user i mean the thing is you can actually uh, parlay somebody else's uh good credit to your advantage. I mean, th this is totally fine. It is fine. And you want to have additional positive payment activity reported on your credit bureau. And also you want to reduce the timing of your, your credit application. So only apply for new credit accounts as needed and monitor your credit. Okay. And if you happen to, if you deny it, God forbid, if you deny it for a BMO credit card, don't actually sweat it. Okay. If your, uh, your application is denied, BMO will send you a, an uh, adverse action letter which is details why you were denied in the first place and this letter should also ex explain that you can get a free copy of your credit report and the steps to take to obtain it okay so if, st if you still want the card and believe that the situation is an exception or you forgot to include some information in your application let's say additional income for example you can call people and ask the and ask them to reconsider your application if reconsideration doesn't work just focus on improving your credit before you apply for another credit card and once your score has improved and you have a better handle, let's say a better handle of your credit obligations, you can use the screening tools on credit card sites to determine if you pre-qualify. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. In today's conversation, I just explained to you how to pre-qualify for BMO Harris credit card. Okay. So I also gave you, I gave you an overview about the four credit cards that BMO Harris has and uh, the cashback, the, the platinum, the platinum rewards and the platinum, the premium rewards. And I explained to you the steps you need to take. And uh, so fantastic. Thank you so much. I'll speak to you another time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.